Hello, today I'm starting my walk at the Tower of London. On my walk, I shall be following the Thames path as closely as I can. Now, this is St Catherine Docks. From 1828 to 1968, it's one of the commercial docks that made up the Port of London. It's in the redevelopment zone known as Docklands and is now a popular housing and leisure complex. St Catherine Docks took their name from the former hospital at St Catherine's by the Tower, built in the 12th century, which stood on the site. St Catherine Docks were badly damaged by German bombers during the Second World War. All the warehouses around the eastern basin were destroyed and the site they had occupied remained derelict until the 1990s. From St Catherine Docks, I'm following the Thames Path. On the other side of the river is Butler's Wharf, a former warehouse complex which is located close to Tower Bridge. After the complex, which was built in the 19th century, today the building contains luxury apartments with a view of the Thames and has restaurants as well. And this is one of the best views of London you'll ever get. The Shard and Tower Bridge. I'm turning into Wapping High Street and we'll be following this road for a while. This is the Blitz Memorial. Unveiled in 2008, it was the first directed to the civilians killed in the Blitz in World War II. London suffered German air raids for 57 consecutive days. There are many new flats and apartments along the Thames in Docklands and many of the old warehouses that survived the Blitz have been converted into dwellings. The town of Ramsgate is one of the many old pubs along Wapping High Street. It has steps that lead down to the river. Even old schools have been converted into apartments like this one, St John of Wapping, erected in 1700. There are many small parks along the Thames path in which to enjoy a short stop or have your lunch. Be careful though because some of the path closes in the evening. The Captain Kidd pub is named after the 17th century pirate William Kidd. It's said that Kidd was hanged at King Henry Stairs, formerly known as Execution Stairs, where many pirates met their maker. More on Execution Stairs in a moment. If you don't want to walk, you can take the London Overground train to Wapping.
prospect of Whitby lays claim to being the site of the oldest riverside tavern, dating from around 1520. The tavern was formerly known as the Pelican and later as the Devil's Tavern on account of its dubious reputation. In the 17th century, it became the hostelry of choice of hanging judge Jeffreys. He lived nearby and a replica gallows and noose hangs by the Thameside window commemorating his custom. Now, accounts say execution stairs was here and was the usual place for hanging of pirates and sea rovers at the low water mark and there to remain until three tides had overflowed them. There's a regular jet boat service from London's Waterloo via Canary Wharf to Greenwich. Just keep your eyes open for Thames Path and uh, any diversions along the way. Not really a good idea to follow this side. Not too far to go now. Well, it's taken me about two hours well, strolling really, uh, between Tower Bridge and Canary Wharf. A very interesting walk. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.